the movie's plot kicks off on a night when a man is observed sprinting while clutching a peculiar box. Finally, he arrives at the station, and the conductor, Miles, requests a ticket from him when he boards the train. Because he couldn't understand him and was shivering from the cold, he let him board the train. When he gets on the train, he meets another passenger who is a salesman and offers him a drink. He drinks it and takes a lot of sleeping pills with it then falls asleep when, Miles, arrives to check the ticket he discovers the man is dead. Seeing this, the salesman arrives and informs Miles that he has taken sleeping pills with drink. There was another passenger on the train named Chloe, and she was a medical student. She informs him that he had a heart attack as a result of taking sleeping pills with drink. His oxygen level didn't reach his mind due to which he died. Now, Miles, forbids, Chloe, and the salesman to touch that man. He leaves after saying this and the salesman sees the box that we saw with the man at the start of the movie. He was about to open that box but Miles, arrives and says this isn't your property so put it back, he put that box back. The salesman was greedy so he opens the box as, Miles, left and finds something strange that he becomes astonished. He rushes to, Miles, who was about to inform about that dead man while calling to the head office but he stops him. He asks him to see that box and moves toward it but Chloe, was watching it, Miles becomes surprised to see it. Miles was still thinking that the box belongs to that dead man but the greedy salesman says, look, this is a precious box. We will sell it and will get money that we will distribute. Miles ignores him and says you saw what happened to that man. What we will do when the box owner will come here while finding it. You are passengers and will leave but I have to stay here, the salesman says you can even leave this job if you want to but Miles disagree. And Chloe says we will not tell anyone about this man that he died in the train as you told us that he didn't buy the ticket. When there will be no record so none will discover about him that did he came on this train or not. Chloe says while seeing the map that the train will pass by a stream after a while and we will throw his dead body in the stream however, Miles still refused to agree with this. He walks away and Chloe asks the salesman, what is the point of being a salesman if you can't even persuade a conductor? He didn't call the head office yet to tell about that man that he is dead and then, Miles, arrives while having that box which he locks in a huge box in front of them. Now, Miles get ready to assist them when they again make him understand. Miles, says we will drag that dead body to the train box in which there are luggages of all passengers. Then we will lock this dead body into a suitcase and will throw it out, after it the salesman divert the attention of the passengers on the train. Miles and Chloe bring that man there on wheelchair but the dead body does not fit in the suitcase they discover. The salesman becomes furious at it and says it is useless to bring the dead body here. Meanwhile, Chloe brings a huge knife from the kitchen and says we will cut this dead body and will keep it in suitcase. It will be fit in it but Miles was forbidding her to do this and then the light starts blinking. And getting a chance from it, Chloe separates the head of that dead man and says now you can't call the police because you will have no professor that how the head of this dead body was separated. And you will not tell anything about me. Chloe brutally separates the body parts of the dead body and locks them into the suitcase later, they throw the suitcase in the stream as it arrives. Meanwhile, the other conductor arrives who moves to lock the door that was open. The salesman and Miles were outside because they went to throw the suitcase into the water. Chloe couldn't open the door either because the conductor had locked it and it was cold outside, causing them to shiver. They become frozen because of cold and Chloe moves to open the door while taking the keys hurriedly. But as she opens the door, she discovers the key to the lock from the keys that Miles used to hide the box. Seeing this, she doesn't open the box and rushes to take the box because she wants to take that box. Suddenly, Miles arrives from the train roof and now he also saved the salesman while opening the door. They again move near the box but can't open it. Miles tries a lot but the box wasn't opening. He again locks the box and a man comes to Miles when the train stops at the station and says I didn't get the train's ticket. Can you give me a ticket? At first, Miles says yes but when he sees the same ring in his hand as it was in that dead man's hand. Miles gets scared and says, sorry, sir there is no place for more passengers but the man tries to persuade him, saying, listen to me, I have to meet a man. As he describes the appearance of the man who was dead and had that box, Miles refuses. After it the man leaves and when Miles come on the train he finds that man sitting there and given place by the other conductor. He says why you didn't give me the right answer when I asked you about my companion. 
that man suspects, Miles. He points gun at Chloe, and the salesman and says give me the thing I come here to take, actually he was also behind that box. Miles gives him that box but as he holds the box it was hot due to it, his gun drops. And getting a chance from it the salesman picks up the gun and points it at him but the man says, look, let me end that box. I have its key, otherwise, don't know how many people will come behind this box and will be ended like this. The salesman says okay end it but give me the treasure that is inside it the man got it that he has seen inside the box. He tells him whoever sees inside that box dies before the sunrise. And their fight starts as he snatches the gun from the salesman while diverting his attention, he dies because of being shot a bullet. Here, we discover they have seen different things in that box, now as the train stops at the next station. The police arrives for checking. Chloe asks Miles to go to bring the suitcase to throw the dead body. Miles doesn't want to support her further but she warns him and says I will end your wife if you will not support me. The police was still on the train, Miles tries to run from there. Then he sees the salesman was also dead as the man said whoever will see inside the box will be ended. The police also suspects Miles and as the police officer points gun at him Chloe ends him and he requests Miles to conceal all the deceased bodies while handing him his gun. Now he makes her understand that if we will not end that box don't know how many lives it will take. Miles moves to take that box but it wasn't there and he escapes while locking Chloe at the place where he hide the box. He comes to the conductor who has the key to the lock and asks for the box but he clearly refuses to give it. He says that is my box. Miles says that is a dangerous box but he says if this is so why you ended so many people. I know everything there is treasure inside it meanwhile, Chloe arrives having a gun and shoots at conductor's foot. She says to him give me that box meanwhile, a strange man arrives and shoots the conductor. Miles arrives there and finds Chloe fallen means someone has ended her as well. There was a passenger standing with a gun who was from Japan and Miles believes he has ended them. Now he hurriedly moves to the other passenger on the train and says the murderers are wandering on this train then he sees that lady's bag that was soaked with blood before Miles could understand anything the lady says they had to die who come on my way. Meanwhile, the Japanese passenger arrives and shoot bullets and the lady also fires at him due to it they die. It means the passengers of the train were behind that box, the companion of the Japanese passenger says to Miles. I will not end you, as he moves forward to end that box he says give it to me I will show it to my government. The train's engineer arrives who tells the train's engine is damaged and the radios are also not working, we can't stop the train. Chloe is shown alive she wasn't dead because she wasn't shot a bullet it just passed by her. And she gets faint because of it now Chloe ends everyone with her gun except for Miles one by one. Then she takes the box from Miles, even he makes her understand, look, this box will compel us to end each other. But Chloe says no, this will not happen to me because this box likes me a lot, Miles, attack her. She gets faint and then he tries to open the box after taking it and checks that man's things who died. He sees ring in his hand and he removes it later, he tries to stop the train. Chloe also awakes. She fights with Miles, and during the fight, the box falls from the train, but Chloe tries to pick it up and is severely hanged with the train. Miles tries to save her but her body divides into two pieces and Chloe dies. Miles is shown finding the box on the train track. He finds the box and then he opens it with the help of Ring, a strange light was emitting from it. He places it on the train track to finish it but as the train approaches, a dog arrives and throws the box down. The box closes nothing happens to it. Miles dies because of cold, now a girl find that box. She becomes excited to see it. Maybe she is also in that box's control means whoever sees it, it controls that person. They see things through the eyes of greed, like the salesman, Chloe, and then, Miles, but none of them survive. Nobody knows where that box came from, and the film concludes on this note.